Uh, we are on the phone with Matt Beatty, the newest Dodger and the current owner of the highest batting average on the team, which is very important. Uh, welcome to the show, Matt, and uh, also late happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's a that's a hell of a birthday present, I got to say. <laughs> Two days later, you yeah, get the call. Yeah, certainly is. Or, or that, that's uh, I think, you know what, that's what I'm going to ask my dad for for this uh, this birthday. <laughs> Tell me yeah. hey, I want to be called up to the big leagues. All right, well, we won't keep you for too long on this, obviously, but uh, some of our questions to start out, you've undoubtedly already answered uh, time and time again, but um, it's always good to kind of cover all the bases as it were, so got to keep it simple to start. What went through your mind when, when you heard you were getting called up? Uh, yeah, it was actually at midnight um, on Monday night. Uh, our game in OKC had got postponed because of bad weather. Uh, I was just laying in bed, kind of, you know, almost dozing off. It was a few minutes after midnight, and Travis Barbary, our uh, AAA manager, he, he uh, called me uh, and just asked me what I was doing. And, you know, I kind of – you don't normally get a call from your manager at midnight after you've been away from the ballpark for three or four hours. So, uh, you know <laughs> – Heart started pounding, obviously. Um, he told me the news, and, you know, I was excited. And not a long night, not a lot of sleep, uh, an early flight that next following morning. So uh, it was definitely a whirlwind of emotions, you know, calling my parents, mm -hmm. letting them know. Um, it was definitely really cool. Uh, my wife was right there, too. So a special moment for both of us, for sure. Yeah, that's super awesome. Well, what's it like? Walk us through the first big league game. You know, you're you're arriving at the ballpark for the first time. You know, we'll we'll break it down by by each section. What was it like just just getting to the ballpark and and uh, entering that visitors clubhouse at what is now Oracle Park for at least the next few years? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was that's awesome. Um, getting to the ballpark, you know, riding the bus to the ballpark and seeing, you know, just a big league stadium that. Uh, I'm used to, or as a kid, just going and watching all all the big leaguers play, and then this time I'm, you know, walking into the clubhouse and get ready to play a game of my my own. Uh, that was really cool, um, and especially playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So. Yeah. So he's, he's, cool. he's saying the right words right there. We yeah, love that. Great words. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's flash forward in that game. What was going through your head as you were walking into the uh, the on deck circle for the first time? Well, I'll say that the first three innings, I was just trying to soak it up. You know, mm -hmm. I was thinking to myself, man, I'm I'm in a big league dugout at a big league ballpark. Um, and not only that, it's Dodgers versus the Giants, one of the biggest rivalries in baseball. Um, so I was just trying to soak that up, you know. Um, and then, you know, I had a good talk with JT before the game, and he was just telling me about how to be prepared and be ready because um, you never know when – because an off day, when you're not in the starting lineup, it's not an off day. You're, mm -hmm. you're preparing from the third inning on for a potential double switch or a pinch hit or whatever it may be. Just injuries can happen. You know, pitcher spots come up. Uh, so after the third inning, I tried to collect my thoughts and, you know, just try to focus on baseball and not – get all wrapped up around all the emotions and everything like that. So, you know, I was down in the cage hitting with some of the hitting coaches and, um, you know, just trying to get ready and mm -hmm. try to get my mind off that, you know, I was potentially going to make my major league debut. And then, you know, once, once the Dodgers got that big lead, um, I knew there's an even better chance that I was going to get into the game. So, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, when Doc and Bob, told me that uh that i was hitting third that inning uh obviously the heart started pounding a little bit um a lot of like a lot of emotions and and someone jimenez um our uh one of our coaches came up to me and he goes hey be prepared for the b fastest bat speed of your life with this <laughs> adrenaline rush so that was pretty cool um and then you know i got on deck uh still heart was still pounding a little bit some of the fans were actually uh, giving me some crap while I was on deck, like yeah. saying, "Hey, what's that in your back pocket?" And uh, and it was my my uh, sliding sliding mitt that I put on. Um, he was like, "Hey, it's sticking out. You need to put it put it down or something like that." So I just I think this is a moment that really helped me settle down. As I, you know, I tugged at the uh, at the sliding mitt, and you know, they just busted out laughing, and it <laughs> gave me a little bit of a smile too. So I think that kind of eased the tension. And then, you know, once. 
once my name got announced and, and then I was walking to the plate, I think I felt pretty normal for the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, different atmosphere being in a big league stadium and, you know, about to make my major league debut. But, you know, I felt comfortable and, you know, I, was, I felt like I was ready. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and everybody knows that heckler you're talking about because everybody just kept hearing him. And, and you know, even uh, Joe Davis up in the broadcast booth kept uh, paying a little homage to him. It's like, man, that guy, I don't know how that guy did not lose his voice because he was chirping the entire series, it sounded like. So I'm glad he was able yeah. to help you out a little bit. Yeah, All me right. too. So you walk up to the plate to face uh, notorious Dodger killer Ty Block, who did not have himself a uh, – a, a great uh, outing there, at least for, for his stats, but great for ours. So tell us about that at bat, you know, the first hit and, um, you know, just, yeah, really just the at bat. You know, I was, I think I was sitting heater first pitch, obviously. Um, Cause you think it's going to be, and, 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 you know, we were winning by six, seven, eight runs. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I was definitely looking for a heater and he, and he snapped off a curveball top of the zone so I was like okay all right um and you know I just you know got next pitch fastball out of the zone and after that it was 1-1 count and I was just looking for something out over the plate that I could barrel um and luckily you know he he threw a slider to me that I saw pretty good and and, and, you know put a swing on it and you know right at contact I knew that I barreled it up and that if it got past Ty um that it was going to be a hit and once it got past him you know, I can't really explain what it felt like. It, I mean, it it felt good, obviously, but you know, I just felt like I was floating, mm-hmm. running down the line <laughs> to first base. Um, and then, you know, once I got back to first base, Georgie there, you know, pat me on the back, and he was saying, "Hey, man, I think you're going to have a couple uh, text messages when you get back <laughs> yeah. into the clubhouse tonight." Um, and then, you know, seeing the guys over there. Uh, in the dugout cheering me on and you know they were so excited for me and, and it was a special moment and even brandon belt you know he took the time to say hey that that's your first knock huh congratulations so that was you know all of that put together that was that was really cool and really special yeah that's definitely awesome plus in that at bat you're able to beat the new um i don't know if you want to call it a baseball stereotype but look at that a lefty can get a hit off a lefty <laughs> yeah i think that's something that i take pride in too that you know I try to do my best against lefties, and I feel comfortable against them. And, and, you know, it was pretty cool to, you know, get the hit off of a lefty. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right, so we know oftentimes with that that first big league knock, they they tend to – some of the vets, they they, they like to have some fun with you and fun with the players, fun with the ball. How how did you get presented that ball after the game? Uh, You know, they didn't do anything to the ball or anything, but uh, (laughs) it it was sitting at my – at my locker when I got back into the clubhouse along with, you know, 20, 25 ticket subs. So that was nice. pretty cool. Um, but after the game, you know, obviously uh, I wanted to go see my wife who was in attendance. She was there. Um, and I, we went and, you know, had a special moment, took a picture, um, you know, hugged. And, and it was a really cool moment. But <laughs> Doogie and, and, and Bueller came running out of the dugout, you know, yelling at me and telling me to get into the clubhouse now everybody's waiting on me so i come <laughs> go running up to the dugout and you know all the guys are there cheering for me and you know giving me high fives and it actually turned into i had to get into a uh laundry cart with my full uniform on and all the guys <laughs> gave me a big uh ice cold beer shower and started throwing <laughs> beers on me and baby powder and all that stuff That's uh, great. you know russell gave like a little speech to me and congratulated me and all that so it, you know it was really cool yeah, that that sounds like fun. I wish they they could have gotten that on uh, some of that backstage Dodgers, or, or hopefully they did because that's something we all need to see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's 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 get a little bit back. We're gonna go into the way back machine. Drafted by the Royals, twenty eleven. Smartly didn't sign. Now you're drafted by the Dodgers in twenty fifteen. You make your debut pretty damn quick after the draft in June. Uh, speak about uh, you know a little bit on your rise through the Dodgers system and just you know some of the things you, you've learned along the way. Uh, you know, the Dodgers, when you, okay, when you think of minor league baseball, or at least me, you see, you think of all the movies like Bull Durham, like you're riding Mm -hmm. buses that don't have AC and and you're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before and after games and stuff like that. But, you know, that's not how the Dodgers do it. They 
take care of their guys coming up through the system. Um, you know, we get good meals before and after the games. Um, each stop, each affiliate, you know, that team, that ballpark is one is, if not the best, one of the best in that league. Um, and, and then also just the coaching staff and player development staff, everybody, you know, it's really special uh, what the Dodgers have going in player development. Um, and, you know, definitely had a lot of hitting coaches and a lot of coaches that made an impact on me um, coming up. Um, Jay Gibbons, uh, you know, had him in high A, and he really helped to figure out my swing, um, start getting more doubles with my swing and figuring out the launch angle and, and, and all those new age stats that, you know, Dodgers front office really – takes pride in um and then turmoil sledge and double a the next year you know really refine refining my approach um and you know those two years back to back um having those two guys i think it, it, having those two guys together and and making me who i am as a hitter i think it, it it really helped that's yeah that's really cool and a couple of uh former big league names that some people still will remember to this day Cause they're not that far off, so that, that's those are the people yeah. you want. You definitely want yeah. like the the people. They're they're the players. They they produce at the highest level. All right, I I have trust in in this player. They know what they're talking about. Um, what about like one of the biggest adjustments you had to make? Um, probably the launch angle. You know, in college I was more of a ground ball, line drive kind of hitter. Mm -hmm. Um, and then and then getting to pro ball you you don't want those ground balls you you want more of a line drive fly ball approach so that you know line ground ball one hoppers to second base turn into doubles triples in the gaps and then fly balls you start clipping more and they start to backspin and, and get out of the stadium and then also just defensively you know in college I was just primarily first and third um, and I remember at my pre-draft workout uh, Marty Lamb uh, Dodger scout, he told me, "Hey, man, in versatility. So, I won't, if you're comfortable with it, play as many positions at this at this workout as possible, and prove to them that you're comfortable, you know, and and committed to playing as many positions as possible. And I, and, you know, I took pride in that. I threw in the outfield for him. I even did catching, which I got drafted <laughs> as a catcher by the Dodgers. So, which I didn't catch at all during college. Mm -hmm. So that was that was kind of weird." Um, but you know, you know, they took a chance on me. I think also because I showed them that I was willing to be as versatile as possible and and give them the most chances to put me in a position. Yeah, that that's a that's a huge thing in the Dodgers organization. And I was before prepping uh, prepping for this call, I was talking to um, you know some of the guys in the group. Like, hey, what what are some questions you have for Matt and all that? And you know, they just wanted to get your your take, which you know I think you covered nicely there about you know, learning the versatility and, and being that guy that's comfortable, you know, playing the corners and, you know, somewhere else, maybe some second base or hell even catcher in a pinch. So that, that's really cool to know. Um, yeah. Uh, a couple more. And then I know, I know Tamara has uh, her, her fun stuff. Cause we got to get to know, you know, it's the new guy on the team. We got to get to know you. Yeah, of we course. Need to see what makes you tick. Okay. <laughs> but the, the last one I had, that's probably on the more serious side. So you're here with the Dodgers now and we hope you're, you're able to stay up here and, and, you know, bring, bring something, uh, a different dynamic that this team has been missing, but what's something that, that you're hoping and you're expecting to bring to the team? You know, I'm just hoping to help out. Um, whether that's starting in a game or whether that's um, coming off the bench for Doc wherever he needs me. Um, and, you know, just give it my best effort. Um, I, I, you know, I'm just excited to be here. I'm mm -hmm. wearing a Los Angeles Dodgers uniform. It's very special, and it's something that I definitely don't take for granted. Um, so just really just take it day by day and not, tr not try to think about, hey, I could get option down tomorrow or, or – or anything like that it's just you know soak it all in have fun and you know try to help these guys win some games that's awesome all right these are the fun, these are the fun ones we okay. got to get to know mr matt Beatty. yeah so matt okay. we're gonna basically do like a lightning round so try to answer as quickly as you can uh, these are some, oh, some of them are like <laughs> your favorites and some of them are like this or that questions just to preface it okay are you ready i'm ready okay cool I'm born ready <laughs> yep Okay, Ariana Grande or Taylor Swift? 
Ariana Grande. No, that's the right. That's the right one. Right answer. Good yeah. job. Okay. <laughs> Space Jam or Sandlot? Uh, Sandlot. Um, Valid. Valid. <laughs> He's a baseball yeah. guy. Yeah. Yep. Um, mustard or ketchup? Uh, ketchup. Ketchup. Okay. What about on a Dodger dog? Uh, both. There you go. Good call. Yep. SpongeBob SquarePants or Patrick Star? <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. Okay. Winter or summer? Summer. Favorite Leonardo DiCaprio movie? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, was he in the Titanic? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably Titanic then. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that. <laughs> I'm not good with movies. <laughs> Don't worry, neither am I. So that's why I was like, Leo. That's but... him, right? That's him in the. Yeah, that is him. him. Yeah, that was his big yeah. breakout. Okay. Yeah. And there yeah, was we'll room. There was room on that door for Leo. By the way, just to settle that, <laughs> yeah. there was room. He could have yeah. lived. No I way. Agree. <laughs> I agree. That's a whole other debate. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> the Office or Friends? Uh, Friends. Oh wow. Okay. Um, what's your <laughs> favorite baseball movie? Ooh, favorite baseball movie. Um, it's a tough one. Probably, uh, probably the rookie. That one's pretty cool. Seeing when he got called up, how old he was, and and I don't know. That was a cool movie. Okay. Maybe not my favorite, but uh-huh. it's one that comes to mind for sure. All right, I think we got the final question yeah, the here, final which is question. probably the most um, topical question yeah, of them all. Most relevant and most important. Okay. Okay. Um, which Avenger would you want to be? Ooh, definitely Thor. <laughs> Good. Wait, wait. Throw on that. Oh, have you seen Endgame yet? I have not. Oh. I was actually planning on going to see it one of those days in uh, OKC because we had a day game. Uh, so uh, I think I think I'm glad where I'm at now. Well, you you and got a day I'll off today. Time. <laughs> let's, let's yeah, go. I know. We we thought about it, but uh, no, I'm definitely going to see it soon. All right, all right. I'm glad I asked first because I, I would have had know. a nice spoiler oh, no. there. Yeah. <laughs> all okay. right, Matt, we, we appreciate your time. You know, a hell of a way to, to break into the big leagues is going back-to-back um, pitchers' ballparks, but hopefully you can crank yeah. one out. You know, if Maeda could hit a home run in his debut in San Diego, I think you could have uh, your first home run over there in San Diego too. I have no doubts in that. Yeah, that would be pretty special. All right, Matt, thanks again, and uh, have some fun with it. All right, appreciate it, guys.